everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching Elite Season 4, Episode 4, entitled, I'm, a uh, dot, dot, dot. Last time on Elite, there was a lot of shenanigans going on. Uh, Kai found out about Philippe filming having sex with her. He chalked it up to saying that he was accused of sexual assault falsely before, so he needed to record everything because of it, but he didn't tell Kai about it, so he basically sexually assaulted her in response to him not wanting to get sexually assaulted falsely or f falsely accused of sexual assault. Like, what? Doesn't make any sense. Also, Guzman broke up with Nadia, and then he was crushing hard on Ari, but Ari's crushing hard on Samu, and Guzman was getting all a butt hurt about it. Same with the butt hurtness. Omar didn't like that Ander and Patrick were hooking up by themselves together, although he also thought it was hot at the same time. And then when he started getting even more jealous that Patrick, Patrick was trying to start something between them, Ander finally was just like, no, go away, I don't want you. But then Omar, like, hate fucked him. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, Ari keeps dying and coming back to life and dying again, coming back to life. She needs to pick one. She needs to pick whatever what she's gonna do. Is she gonna live or is she gonna die? Just pick one. So at the end of that last episode, we saw that she actually woke up. Now we need to probably go again see her go die again in this episode, but who knows. And then the last thing was Mincia and Rebecca were finally kind of getting together again, but Mincia and Rebecca's mom had this rivalry because Rebecca's mom knows that she is, Mencia is hooking up with this guy who's basically like uh, a sugar daddy and um, she hangs out Mencia hangs out at this hooker place which uh, Rebecca's mom also hangs out at go figure Mencia found out that Rebecca's mom is still dealing drugs which she told Rebecca that she is not so there's a lot of contention going on there Rebecca's mom basically threatened Mencia not to threaten her again so we'll see what happens with that but other than that that's pretty much everything uh, so we're just gonna jump right into this episode this episode is about 10 minutes shorter than the last three so I'm interested to see what goes on in this one so let's go Of course, she doesn't remember. Uh, he's trying to pass her around. Yeah, now he's trying to pimp her out. <laughs> Get your bag! Yeah, I don't, uh... I wouldn't trust him. Right. Oh, yeah. I knew she was gonna find out eventually. But if she literally finds them hooking up, that's gonna be so awkward. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one. If he wasn't such a little shit. Yeah, exactly. Good for her for standing up for herself. Honestly, like, he looks like he is actually into her, but like, you can't do that. So, fuck off. Oh my god, here he is, this little shit. I guarantee you he's just gonna say that him and Omar had sex in front of Ander. I wonder, did they repurpose the old club from last season into a, this gay club? It looks like the same place. He really is the devil. He really is the devil. I wonder if someone was gonna take that. That door is huge. <laughs> Of course, that's the, like the one thing I noticed in the scene. Ew, I hate dads that do that, like literally snoop around like you're looking in her teddy bears and shit. Like, fuck off. Dude, it's not your money. Fuck off. Like, what? It's not yours. Give it back. Like, ugh. Oh, come on! Is, he's pissing me off this season. Yeah. Just let Omar leave, dude. 
Like, he said, how many times does he have to say no? Like, leave him alone. Good for Ender for leaving, though. That probably costs you a lot. Don't fucking shatter it. At least sell it or something. Oh, wait, he has more. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, it's nice of Omar for taking care of them. Of course, now he's choosing Patrick over Ander. Oh my gosh. I'm over this storyline, honestly. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Both wearing sunglasses, oh my god. Yeah, make them do shit now. <laughs> He's gotta be doing this on purpose. Interesting. Now Philippe is gonna try to keep putting the moves on her. He has to do like some serious damage control if he's gonna be doing anything to sway her. <laughs> she does. She does look good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You know she's going to, otherwise they wouldn't keep these scenes going with them. I'm gonna need proof that he actually deleted this video, by the way. No. What, so you can record it? Ugh. I wonder if it's gonna be Rebecca or some gross man. She's gonna get herself into some trouble, oh my god. I don't wanna see any, like, crazy scenes, please. I'm nervous for her. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if I like her doing that anymore. <laughs> oh my god. How about you control your daughter if you want to that bad and stop making Ari do it? Oh my god. I don't want this to get crazy, please. I don't I don't need to see that. She acts as if his cell phone isn't portable. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. Oh god. What is he gonna say? He fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. I should be laughing. Patrick's such an asshole. Oh, no. That's where the car crash happened. Oh, my God. That's why she wanted her dad to stay home. I thought it was gonna be that Mencia was driving the car and maybe she was like under the influence or something and caused the accident. Oh my god, she's gonna walk it. I hope she like saves Mencia or something and doesn't mad at her. And I hope it doesn't get to where she's like, how could you do this to me? I love that her <laughs> I love that her license plate has Rebecca on it. Oh god, I'm not ready to see whatever scene is gonna happen. Yes, Rebecca save her, oh my god. Rebecca punched the shit out of him. Yes! Yes! 
And now they're gonna go on a date, and Guzman's gonna be mad about it eventually. Yeah. Like, of course he's calling. Yeah, like, please don't start berating her. It's true. Oh my god, Rebecca really cares about her though. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wow, this is gonna make me cry. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, Guzman. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're ruining a good scene. I wonder what Ari's gonna say. Oh no! Did his dad do that? I don't know what just happened. Okay, didn't expect to cry this episode. <laughs> I think why I... <clears throat> oh my god. Alright, compose myself. I think why I got so emotional is because... I don't know, I, th I just think that Mencia was trying so hard to get away and, and leave and she just was unhappy and all these things, but then when she got back with her family and they sat down for dinner and they all kind of just invited her started laughing immediately and just were with her just the contrast between what was about to happen to her and now where she's at and how she probably it basically was just showcasing how she has her family at home that will always be there for her and just like the way that it the way that scene played out just got me really emotional <laughs> I know I don't know why. Maybe I did it. I, let me know if it got you emotional in that because oh my god. Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm just a crybaby. I don't know. But that was a great scene. I I loved that. And I also loved that it just showed that Rebecca. I think that's what started getting me emotional is when Rebecca was um, comforting her and just like telling her like don't ever scare me like that again. And she knows now what Mincy has been doing. But I'm hoping that Mincy had just kind of I don't know like. Obviously, Mencia wants to get out because her dad's super controlling, and, and both to Ari and to Mencia. He's, like, putting this unfair pressure on Ari to take care of Mencia when Mencia obviously doesn't want, even want to be there. Or, not take care of her, but basically, like, track her every move and make sure she's, like, staying out of trouble or something. Now that we heard the story, I think it contributes to her mother getting into the car accident because... She, uh, Ari was talking about how her dad still isn't over it, so I'm assuming that's why. He probably just has, like, trauma from when Mencia ran away from home that one time, and how Patrick almost died and, um, their mom died. So, I kind of get it, but also, like, I, I say this literally every season, especially, like, with Omar's dad. The more you try to control them, the further you're gonna push them away. And that's why she's been wanting to leave. Also, I don't know how I feel about Kai kind of getting back with Philippe. I mean, he's he was very apologetic, he's trying his best, he said he deleted the video, which, you know, I guess we'll see. I don't know, it just still feels, like, icky. I mean, obviously, like, it's her decision on what she wants to do. That's its own thing, and then... I'm honestly getting very annoyed at Guzman this season. Maybe I'm the only one, I don't know, but like, dude, you just had this amazing thing with Nadia, you just broke up with her, you just started dating this Ari girl, and you know that Ari has feelings towards Samuel. So just drop it. Like, stop being a little baby. Stop being, like, so passive-aggressive towards Samuel just because Ari has something with her, with him. He's annoying me this season. I, I used to, like, really like him, especially after season two and three, but... I don't know if I like this story for him. And then also, I've come to the conclusion that I don't like Patrick. I think Patrick is uh, just kind of a dick. I mean, Ander is rightfully upset during his interrogations about all of them. Maybe not all of them. I mean, I, I wonder why he's just, like, mad at all of them and not just Patrick. Like, um, they must have done something. Like, I, I don't know. I also wonder about Samuel and their dad is trying to get him to quit his job so that he can work in IT or something else with him and then join the debate team. But like, why him? And why would you want to do that with him? I don't understand. Is it like some type of coax 
type way to get him to be expelled from the school because he doesn't want him there on a scholarship because clearly he didn't. Yeah, that was pretty much all that happened this episode. I don't know. I, um, I really honestly, I think at this point I could care less about Guzman and Ari and this whole drama between, like, them and Samu. I'm starting to get annoyed with the Omar and Ander and Patrick situation too. I like parts of the season. I'm not liking other parts of the season. I really still really, really like the Rebe Rebecca and Mencia relationship and what they have going, and I hope that they continue that. I really like Mencia as a character. Ari seems cool for now, and I'm, I still feel weird about the kind Philippe thing. I don't know. The season's going a little weird for me, but I'm hoping that, I mean, I'm only halfway through, so hopefully it picks back up in the second half, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Just comment and let me know what you thought about this episode, and I will see you on the next one.